song for a minute. Somebody praise me. Where will we be tonight? There had not been for the intercessors. Amen. Let's turn your Bibles to Matthew chapter 26. I thank all those coming out tonight. All those coming into the broadcast. All those viewing the service online. And thank God that Maria and her team are going live. Amen. So we get those feedback, those tuning in live and appreciate you as well. Matthew chapter 26, we'll begin reading in verse number 1. And it came to pass, when Jesus had finished all these things, he said unto his disciples, now, mind you, this is talking about Christ. We started last week, and the 21st chapter of Matthew, where Jesus made an entrance into the city of Jerusalem, and they had given him palms and great pomp and circumstance and great things in regards to his entrance into Jerusalem on what they call Palm Sunday, down through... A week later, as we brought out last week, he was on the cross. Well, I'm sorry, he was resurrected on the cross on Friday, resurrected that following Sunday. So five days later, he was on the cross. So here, chapter 26, Jesus, so from 21 to 26, he was on his way out. So he began to do some profound teaching. Matthew chapter 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. It's kind of like his going away teaching. He knew he was about to go to the cross. So he began to do some profound teaching. Chapter 26. Now the plan is beginning to take hold. And the crucifixion scene is just a couple of days away. So here... It says, and it came to pass when Jesus had finished all these sayings, the things he wanted to say before he went to the cross, he said unto his disciples, ye know that after two days, so he was only two days away here, is the feast of the Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. There's actually a correlation between the crucifixion and the Passover. We're not going to go into that, but there was some symbolic things that took place there. Then assembled together the chief priests and the scribes and the elders of the people unto the palace of the high priest. Come on and read, my friend. It was called Caiaphas. Come on. And consulted that they might take Jesus by subtlety and kill him. All right. But they said, not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar among the people. So they consulted, they took time and deliberated how can we make this happen? If you study it out, they had had their eyes on him. Many times, the Jesus would do things, he would slip out into the crowd, so on and so forth. They said, how can we put forth a foolproof plan to get to Jesus? we got to get him. How do we get him? How do we end his life? How do we crucify Jesus? How do we make this happen? We cannot mess up on this. We cannot let him get away. What he's doing is too profound. We must stop. How do we make this happen? So they began to consult among themselves to put together a foolproof plan on getting Jesus. Come on and read. Now when Jesus was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, skip down to verse number 14. Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said unto them, What will you give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Now on the first day of the feast of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat? The Passover. And he said, Go into the city to such a man and say to him, The master said, 
My time is at hand. So verse number 14, one more time. And we're going to get down through verse 17 again, but go to verse 14. Let's pull our thought. My God. Then one of the twelve called Judas is carried. So they consulted among themselves and they had to figure out. It says, then one of the twelve, which was the twelve disciples. It's talking about the twelve disciples. One of the twelve disciples. Come on. Then one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot. His name was Judas Iscariot. Come on and read. Went into the chief priest. Went into the chief priest. And said unto them, What would thou give me? And I would deliver him unto you. And they covenanted with him for 30 pieces of silver. So once again, they covenanted with him. They put together a covenant, a plan, a, 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 a procedure in place, an agreement for 30 pieces of silver. Come on and read. And from that time, he sought opportunity to betray him. And from that time, Judas is talking about sought opportunity to set him up, to betray him, to find out the right time that he would be in the right place in which he couldn't slip away with the people. He had to be in a place in which they wouldn't confuse him with one of the other disciples. They had to find and wait to where he was so in a spot that Jesus would be least expecting it. My God. He had to find a place in which he would get this 30 pieces of silver. He would betray Jesus. My God. My God. My God. Yes. They consulted among themselves. Then they covenanted it with one of the twelve. How do we get to Jesus? How do we get him to the cross? What is our most effective manner? We want to preach tonight from the thought. It was an inside job. My God. My God. Yes. It was an inside job. One of the profound lessons that Jesus wants us to receive from this is that Satan's most effective way and his only way in some context is to work from the inside. We're going to look personally and through church history and you're going to find that when Satan was most effective, rarely was it from an external source. But most of the time, it was something internal that took place. That's right, brother. Anytime the church was going forth, his attempts to stop or to hinder, should I say, the church from progressing forward, many times, and we're going to look through church history and through the biblical context, and we're going to see that oftentimes it was something internal that caused the breach. Yes. Many times when we're dealing with backsliding, matter of fact, he set it up so that when a person comes to an altar of prayer, we're not talking about joining church. The Bible don't advocate joining church, but it advocates getting saved. That's why we don't say stuff when we stand up. I think I joined the church this day. My parents, no, 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 no. I appreciate your parents, but when did you get saved? The Bible says you must be born again. Amen. When did you get saved? Amen. I appreciate this. You came to this congregation. That may be one thing. I came to this congregation three years ago, but when did you get saved? Amen. Not that you got to get saved at a church building and come to this physical external altar, but my God, at some point you had an altar somewhere. If it was in your bed, Room, if it was in your car going down the street, at some point you should remember when you got saved. How do I know? Because the Bible says you got to be broken and contrite. You know when you're broken. You have to have consciousness of your sins and understanding what it did, how God felt about it. That don't just happen in a dream. That don't just happen by chance. But that happens because you know you have understanding. The Bible says where there's no understanding, there's no transgressing, my God. So you knew, you understood the plan of salvation. That's why little two years or the three year old, they really can't get saved. They may know I did mommy wrong, but they don't know you did God wrong. It wasn't that you sinned against God. That's why Paul said, I was alive without the law once, but when the sin came, I revived. I mean, uh, sin revived and I died, my God. What? I came to the age of accountability and I began to understand that this is beyond mom and daddy. I don't know, maybe it was eight, maybe it was ten. I don't know how old you were, but you began to understand that I sinned against God and I'm sorry. And I don't do it anymore. Lord, please help me, my God. My God. My God. When a person comes to an altar of prayer and they get saved for real, they let go of everything they know to be wrong. You can't get half saved. Amen. God, does, God is not in partnership with the devil. Amen. You don't go and wean your way off of sin. My God. You get delivered off of sin. Amen. The Bible says you are translated from the kingdom of darkness 
and to the kingdom of life, my God. Amen. Maybe it's not kind of born. It's born, amen. amen. Person is not kind of saved. Right. Woman is not kind of pregnant. Right. Either you are or you're not. Right. So here, an individual goes to an altar. And they get saved. They cry out to God. Ask Him to forgive them from all their sins. They're going to serve God for the rest of their life. Right. And God witnesses with the sincerity of their faith and the sincerity of their repentance. His spirit bears witness with their spirit Amen. that they're my God, the Son of God, yes. the child of God. They get a breakthrough. They get a witness. They're saved. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes tears come down because they're so happy to be saved. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, they feel the weight of the sins we give them. Yes. Oh, thank you, God. I'm saved. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. They get saved. God so designed salvation that there is nothing that the devil from that moment right. come on brother oh Amen. thank you lord yeah. from that moment the devil with all the forces of hell yeah. all the demons in the world all the world powers and world demons and lust demons and all these things in the world nothing in the devil's arsenal even though he's got the whole world in this way can make a person backslide yeah. Yeah. nothing that the devil can do can make you backslide yeah. no matter how much pressure no matter how big of a temptation matter of fact you don't even got to be that strong why because it's not your strength that's going to keep you it's the grace of god the bible said where sin abounds does grace much more abound the bible said greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world so there's nothing the devil can do to make a person backslide that's why don't ever come with excuses talking about the devil made me do it. he didn't make you do nothing he can't make you do it. what scripture do you got for that turn to john 28. The devil cannot make you backslide. Come on and read. John 10, 28. God so set up salvation that nothing the devil can do to make a person backslide. A person backslide there without excuse. Come on and read. My sheep hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice. Thank God when you truly save your sheep and you'll hear truth. Amen. You don't have to convince somebody of truth. He said, my sheep hear my voice. Okay. They can hear them. the truth. And I know them. Come on, read. And they follow me. And they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life. Come on. And they shall never perish. And they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Even, even Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So here, we get saved. We come into the hand of God. He said, they hear my voice. They're going to follow me. And devil ain't nothing you can do about it. Hey man, come all you want, try all you want. You cannot pluck them out. No, 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 no. You can't do it. And we're going to get into the depth of it. And how does a person backslide? I don't care if it's backsliding, backsliding, or apostasy, or whatever. It's an inside job. Yeah, it's an inside job. There's nothing that the devil can do. Now, some people use this scripture. To say that a person, once they get saved, they can never be unsaved. This that I'm going to blow somebody's brains out. This and the other. I appreciate theology. I appreciate the person's persuasion. I appreciate what your grandfather's church said. I appreciate it. But thank God we base our teachings on the word of God. Turn to John 6, verse 66. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Amen. The devil can't make nobody backside. No external force. 666. Come on and read. And 67. From that time, many of his disciples went back. From that time, many of his disciples went back. My Lord. He did, and he read the, the, the scriptures leading up to that. He preached a profound sermon. Yes. And it was a bit much on the flesh. My Lord. And from that moment, some of the disciples, many of them said, Bro, we can't follow him. No, 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 no. We're going back to what we, what we used to. We're, going to be, we're not going to be followers of Christ no more. Why? Because we, we got we to abide by this depth of doctrine of this truth. No, we wanted a little something easier than that. Come on and read God. And walk no more with him. And walk no more. We're not with you no more. We're done. Come on, read. Then said Jesus unto the twelve. Jesus said, I will not renegotiate the sermon to get a mega church. Amen. I'm not going to water down this gospel, amen, to get a bigger offering. Amen. I'm not going to water this thing down so some folk won't leave. Amen. We're going to preach the truth is the truth, amen, to 
that's fighting who comes or who goes. Amen. Amen. If you don't want it, there's somebody out there that want to be right. Amen. If you don't want it, there's somebody out there that don't want to be worldly. Amen. If you don't want it, there's somebody out there that want, to that want victory over sin. Yes. Right. If you don't want it, there's somebody out there, amen, that want to be, amen, sanctified fully. Yes. Amen. If you don't want it, there's somebody out there that want divine healing and want to trust God for their body. Amen. Amen. If you don't want it, there's somebody out there that's tired of denominationalism, that's tired of division, but they want to be one with all God's people. They're not a part of any denomination. They're a part of Amen God. They're a part of Jesus. I'm not with no group. I'm not with no denomination. Amen. I'm a part of the family of God. I will not be a part of any division. Denominations are a division. You're saying I'm a part of this division of the Christian sect or Christian church. No, no, no. I'm not a part of any division. John, in the 17th chapter of John, Jesus prayed to the Lord. May they be one. Amen. The denomination don't let us be one. Amen. Why? Because you got your creed. You got your this creed. And you say, Brother Lee, if we do away with denomination, how are we going to know what creed to follow? Do we follow this set or this denomination creed and this, their, their book of, uh, of laws, of rules, of regulations? Or do we follow this one or do we follow that one? How can we all come together? All these different books and all these different teachings. What are we going to do? i got to suggest, how about we just use one book? Amen. 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 Do away with all the other books. Amen. And just say Amen. people are based upon the word of God. Amen. When the word stops, we stop. When the word starts, we start. We yes. proclaim what's in the yes. world and we don't bring the word down to our standard. We lift up the standards of people up to the word of God. Amen. Amen. So Amen. here he said that none can pluck. But you can leave. Yes. Why would they leave though? Why would they leave? Oh. Proverbs 14, 14. It was an inside job. The only way they were able to get Jesus while he was in the garden where his prayer spot was. Nobody even knew where he got away from the masses to refresh himself. His secret spots. Here he is. His disciples. They're praying. And Judas set him up. Set him up. But he said, none can pluck in regards to salvation. But you can leave. So why would somebody leave? John 14, 14, read. Proverbs. So sorry. Proverbs 14, 14. The backslider is hard. The backslider in hard. Remember this, saints. When you don't see somebody, many times, most of the time, they had already backslidden in their heart way before you saw that. By the time they get to the point where you're saying, where are you at? I ain't seen that. Okay. Most of the time, in their heart, <coughs> you'd be shocked how many people have come and sat right down in the pew next to you. It's already backslidden in their heart. It already turned against the gospel. It already began to do stuff that they know they have no business doing. But they didn't have the courage to just come out and say, I ain't saved no more. And many times they don't want to lie to you. How you come out there, somebody's super bold, and they go, can you still say it? Pray for me. They, they still struggling just to say it. That's why a lot of times you can be respectful people. Don't just go off, don't just, just be blatantly and ask them. But you may want to say, is something going on with people? Wait, you know where the souls is why? Can I pray for you? What's going on with this and the other? But many times, by the time you see it, just like a divorce. By the time they in court, they get a divorce. Yep. Way before that, there was some serious problems. They probably stopped really talking months or years before that. Right. They probably stopped really being best friends and loving each other and having each other's back and trusting each other, being just right there falsely talking to each other during the night and in the morning going for a walk and, and, and sharing dreams and visions and, and getaways in it. That probably stopped a long time ago. Out of routine, they were still functioning, making them food, taking care of the children, paying the bill. Out of routine, they were still coming to church. Out of routine. Yeah. Coming to church, they may grab a little Bible right before. That same Bible has been sitting in their car the whole week. My Lord. Grab it, walk into church. Don't even open it. You might look real cold if they start. Don't bring it home. <laughs> but as far as a private devotion, My God. that's why God deals so much with private stuff. Fast, don't tell nobody what you're doing. He said, don't forecast it, but you turn your plate up. You got up in the morning. You got away reading the Bible. Nobody's around. See, sometimes when somebody's trying to be impressive, they have weird to get away with the fellowship. There was somebody getting their Bible. They went around the church earlier and say, 
<laughs> right. When you're doing it privately, right. nobody sees it. Mm -hmm. Is it the backslider and heart? Come on, read. The backslider and heart uh -huh. shall be filled with his own ways. What? There was something that took place. Not over in Europe. Not over in the Middle East. But somewhere on the inside, there was something they didn't deal with. There was something, my God. My God. Internally. Yes. Maybe it was a temptation. Oh. Maybe it was a residue. My God. Something that they didn't get rid of. But eventually, that residue within them grew stronger than their desire to be saved. It said the backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways. My God. You don't do what you don't want to do. That's true. That's true. People don't do what they don't want to do. So the devil had to work with you and you left him something to work with. You left him a residue there, something to work with. And he was able to work with it long enough till he made you want to do. He wasn't tempting you no more. You were restrained at that point not to do it. But you wanted to do it. There was a residue there. Involved with that boy? Whatever reason, you ain't deal with it. You ain't deal with that residue inside. On your job, we started flirting with you. You gave me a little email or text message. So he began to text you back and forth. Y'all began to play a game with this and yeah. So on and so forth. What, 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 how did she leave? How did she backstab? It wasn't, it, 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 listen to me. It wasn't the, uh, something overseas. It wasn't. The devil had to get something inside. First, it wasn't inside. It was outside of you. Right. You would tell him, leave me alone. I'm saved. I'm this, that, and the other. But he kept working. Mm -hmm. My God. It said that, that Samson, oh, Delilah, right. it said she kept pressing. Yes. Yes. Kept pressing. Mm -hmm. Kept pressing. He just kept on subtly. Send you this. Send you a flower. Send you a car. Send... Mm -hmm. At first, it was external. It was an external temptation. Right. Leave me alone. I told you stop. I told you to. Uh, by and by. By and by. It began to shift from an external temptation. They weren't doing it yet. But it shifted from an external temptation to an internal restraint. I know. Right. Oh, that's easy. My it was an external. It was external. They didn't want to do it. And they wanted to be saved. They wanted to go all the way by God. They wanted to go God. I'm willing to go all the way. Whatever that entitles, I'm with it. I want it. But, 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 leave me alone. I'm done. I don't want. At some point, it shifted. It was an inside job. Backsliding is an inside job. It's not an outside job. The enemy had to work and work and work on it. And let me just show you what you do. Go over real quickly here. Go over to John. That's it, right there. Chapter 13, yeah. verse 28. Let's look at Judas for a moment here. Come on and read. John 13, verse 28. It was an inside job. We must deal with our own self. We must get before God and say, Lord, I don't want nothing in me. Nothing in me. The devil can work, but come on and read. After the sock, Satan entered into him. Then said Jesus unto him, That thou doest too quickly. Now listen to what it said. It said, After the sock, Satan entered into him. My Lord. Now the sap in the Hebrew custom times they would have a meal and a special portion of the meal the sap would be given to the most distinguished guest in the whole place. So here Jesus with all the twelve Disciple he loved, no doubt, sit next to him. Brother Peter right there. James, the sage, powerful James. Oh, but he turned to Judas and gave him a sign. Before we get to where we're going, sometimes, right before a person leaves, God will give them exactly what they need. Exactly what they need to hear. God gives them. Maybe it was some encouragement. Maybe it was some strength. 
Maybe it was whatever it was, but God will give them exactly what they needed. And if they go beyond that, many times, it's long enough. That's for you. That's for you. I gave you exactly what you needed when you needed it. You went past that. Let me know Come on, read. That thou doest, do quick. Come on, read. Now, no man at the table knew for what content he spake unto him. But some of them thought, because Judas had the bag, that Jesus had sent to him, buy those things that we have need of against the feast. So he said, 30 pieces of silver, Judas had the bag. Go back to chapter 12 real quick. Verse number 1. Then Jesus, six days before the Passover, came, came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. Come on, read. There they made him a supper. Uh -huh. Martha served, but Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. Come on. Then took Mary a pound of ointment of spikenard, very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus, My Lord. and wiped his feet uh -huh. with her hair. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Come on, read. Then said one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which should betray him. Why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor? That sounds so noble. Read. <laughs> this he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the bag and bear what was put therein. Oh, my. So here, Judas, my God. way early. My Lord had this pension of money, had the bag, had a covetous spirit. Way later, they said, we need somebody to get him. And if we bid the price high enough, somebody had turned. Somebody had turned. What do you give him? Five pieces of silver? Ten? Maybe twenty. You know what? Let's give him twenty pieces. No. Give him thirty. Their turn. Judas has something working inside him. No doubt he didn't never deal with it. So when the opportunity came, that's something inside of him. That tendency. I've seen individuals get saved in a relationship. They break off the relationship as far as being involved. But there's some tendencies. There's some feelings that they never fully dealt with. See, the Bible speaks about drawing away with affections. See, you get saved, you got to deal with it. I'm done. I ain't messing with you and all we say. But do you realize that you got to get back before God? You got to get down before God. Say, Lord. You may say, some people are under the spirit of a relationship. That person, get over here now. I ain't coming. I see it right now. <laughs> and that spirit got to be broken. It's almost a spell. That spirit got to be broken. And God can break the spirit. Amen. Yes, he can. But you let those affections go. Oh. You're talking about getting on your knees, My Lord, turning your plate up. Don't think what so and so pray for me and I be. No. You gonna give before God? You gonna hurt? You gonna hurt? Don't 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 call. See, sometimes when you in a relationship and you can say you don't do stuff that's sinful, but you keep parts of the relationship going yeah. because there's therapy in it. Mm -hmm. Just hearing their voice, yeah. just talking to them, mm -hmm. just connecting with them. You're not gonna go do nothing with them, right. but you're kind of excited that they call you, uh -huh. and you're kind of wondering if they're going on to somebody else, or they kind of just not going on to nobody else yet. You kind of wonder, you kind of getting words out, and hey, you saw them, they went out. Yeah, they looking so sad. They didn't. Was they dance with anybody? Is anybody gonna? Oh, did they, oh no, they wanted to. Or they, they probably miss you there. And you kind of relieve when you find out that they kind of lonely and they kind of bored and they kind of sad, <laughs> and you kind of get to that. That's because those affections. Right. Those affections are still alive. You got to get before God. If the enemy, no, go over real quickly here to John chapter uh, twelve, verse thirty-one. Come on, read. Chapter 
1231. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. This he said, signifying what death he should die. The people answered him. But Johnny, give me the scripture where he said, the prince of this world cometh and findeth nothing in me. Look it up, please. So here, okay, 1430. I'm sorry, I have to 1430, come on and read. Herein I will not talk much with you. Thank God for having the Bible scholar among us. I'm going to read. For the prince of this world cometh. The prince of this world cometh. And have nothing in me. And have nothing in me. But that the Lord. Hold on. In order to be secured in our salvation, mm -hmm. we must get to the point that there, the, the devil is nothing in me. I, I work nothing in me. I dealt with every affection I got. Okay. Dealt with every habit I got. My dealt with every relationship I had. Yeah. I got before God and said, Lord, purge me. Yeah. Lord, remove the yeah. remnants, Lord. Lord, remove the tendencies, Lord. Lord, I know me. I'm not just talking about what people think. No, I haven't done nothing. But Lord, I know me, Lord. I know how I felt about that. I know how I was attached to that. I know how I felt when they called me. I know how I felt to hear their voice. Lord, I'm asking you. I can't stay saved with these affections here, Lord. Father, I need you. I can't pray like I ought. Lord, this thing is too hard. It shouldn't be this hard. The Bible's in the way the transgressions are. But my yoke is easy. Lord, remove these affections from me. My God. Amen. Amen. Get me before God. Yes. There shouldn't be no struggle. Right. Salvation shouldn't be no struggle. Right. My vehicle, amen, right. is made to put some gas in it, <laughs> make sure the oil is changed, and drive to California. If it's struggling, then there's something wrong with the vehicle. It's not the mountains. It's not I-75. It's right. not any of those, the wind. Right. It's not the rain. Yes. There's something on the inside of my vehicle that's not operating right. That's causing it to put when it goes up mountains. It's causing it to put when it goes down. Causing the brick quiet. Before that vehicle came up the assembly line, it had to pass certain inspections. Right. Those inspections that it passed made sure that on roads, American roads, these, this vehicle, an American sanctioned vehicle, can travel any road in America and should have enough horsepower, should have enough brake power, should have enough right. all the things that it needs to operate functionally, meeting the miles per hour that's on every mile. If something is taking place on that trip that's causing that vehicle to not operate fully, it's not external, it's internal. Yeah. Yeah. Salvation is the same way. Yeah. God yeah. seen the roles of salvation. He seen the roles that we were traveling like. Yeah. He seen it, and He made sure we had enough horsepower. Yeah. He made sure we had enough brake power. He made sure we had enough gas in. He made sure we had enough on board that we can operate. We should be on the sideline, putting and pouting and sad, barely making it. Can't make it. Yeah. Discouraged. Why? We can't have testify. Why? Because some sad boy who wasn't no good anyway, or some girl. My God, it ain't about that girl. It's not about that boy. Hallelujah. We have to get before God. Get on the right on the inside. Say, Lord, remove these things from the inside. Amen. 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 It's an inside job. Yeah. Oh, it's an inside job. Yeah. Many times individuals, my God, got an attitude with people. Oh, God. And you say so and so made them backslide. Why? Because they got into a over to Romans chapter uh, 3, verse number 5. So and so made them backslide. They balked. Because they went against them. They persecuted them. They did this, that, or the other. Romans 3, verse 5. But if our righteousness condemned, commend the righteousness of God, come on. What shall we say? Yes. Is God unrighteous who takes vengeance? Come on, brother. I speak as a man. Come on, brother. God forbid. Yes. For, for then how shall God judge the world? Come on, read. <laughs> for the truth of God hath more abounded through my life unto his glory. Is that Romans 3, 5? Okay, go ahead and read. For, for the truth of God has more abounded through my life unto his glory, uh -huh. why yet am I also judged as a sinner? Come on, read. And not rather, as we be slanders, slanders we recorded, and as some affirm that we no, say. No, read verse 5. But if our righteousness commend the righteousness of God, uh -huh. what shall we say? Uh -huh. Is God unrighteous who taketh vengeance? All right, so it says, is God unrighteous that taketh vengeance? 
scripture says also that vengeance is mine, said the Lord. But many times, individual, when they were young, they didn't get enough whoopings. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, no, I mean. And they end up having, in other words, don't do them wrong. Yes, sir. Amen. See, one of the worst things you can do is spoil your child. Yes, sir. Here you got some spoiled child syndrome that when your wife don't cook it just like you want it, or that director asks you to do something you don't feel like doing, or your husband actually do something that you don't really like the way he said it. Uh-huh. That boss All right. will come back at you yes. and tell you to do this. Mm. Mm. You're not careful. You're gonna have some vengeance yep. down in you. Mm. You will fight somebody. Oh. Let them say something about your child. Mm. Mm. Oh you gonna my child? Yeah. Nobody thinks their child is nothing wrong. No, no, no. <laughs> Prince Ray. <laughs> so here, we've seen it. Individuals end up backslide because there was something deep down inside them. But they couldn't get that thing they got. Over to 1 Peter 4 1. We want to end it with the church. 1 Peter 4 1. Come on, read. We're going to go to 1 Peter 4 1. Go to Proverbs 29 1. Just read that. And keep your finger on 1 Peter 4 1. Go to Proverbs 29 1. And then we're going to fly over to 1 Peter 4 1. Was it inside you? They could not get to Jesus until they were able to penetrate his ranks. The devil can't get folks to backslide until he's able to penetrate their ranks. He that being often reproved, yes, hard as neck. Shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. Stubborn. Uh, Stubborn. Stubborn. The word goes forth. A person not measured. Okay. I'm gonna do what I want. God deal with him. And listen, this is rare. Leave this alone. Yes. Stubborn. He'd have been often reproved. Stiff in his neck. When that neck is stiff, preach what you want, say what you want. Regardless, you know you have no business wearing those short skirts. Yeah. Where's that coming from? This new age of short skirt wearing folk. If they standing up walking by you, it's barely two, not below, to their knee. How in the world can you justify that with modesty? My God. No man got no business seeing your thoughts. Here you are sitting down to see all this stuff. The thought, this thing. Are you serious? Oh and I don't understand this. Why does every woman have to mark in her chest? It's, it's like I can't get a man without showing you what I got. I got to advertise what I got. I got to show you what I got. If you don't believe Listen, on any online, any man, anywhere, any woman of note in the world that just name one, oh, any, any, any woman, to see a picture, they advertise it, they, 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 they foolishness. They're advertising. Yeah. Yeah. So the word of God come forth. God should detail. Saints, be modest. Here you go, bend the way this to come on. Just be modest. You ain't not saying that you can't breathe. But just be modest. Just be modest. Just, just, just be modest. Alright. So stop. So stop. The word of God went forth. The word of God went forth and dealt with you in your area. See some folk got church outfits. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. And then they got, like, work outfits. Okay. Then they got outfits when I might actually see a saint. Uh -uh. But I might not. So that one is kind of. Then they got certain outfits when I'm going away. That's right. Oh, no. I, don't even, I don't even bring this out until I know. Uh -uh. Ain't no saints going to be around. Glory be to God, we're going away. No saints, no saints. Glory be to God. One time we were in the hills of a certain state at a family getaway. And then I'm sitting at a light. 
and I'm here in Hornsville. Uh, this is a thousand miles away almost. I'm here in Hornsville. Eh, 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 eh. I'm thinking that's my in the way. Let me see. Somebody in the rush with Eh, 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 help! Help! Hey. Oh, right here. Got my name. <laughs> I know that nobody know me. Hey, what? Hey, hey what's going on? One of the same children <laughs> happened to be at the same place, wow. the same wow. week. <laughs> I'm so happy that we don't got family outfits that's from the same. <laughs> and family outfits is when we away. Oh, wow. I'm so happy. That, but what happens is, say, the word of God comes forward and it touches somebody. Lord, they harden their neck. They get off the reproof. And they end up losing out. Mm How -hmm. did lose out? God dealt with it. The word dealt with it. Told you. Leave that website alone. Leave that website alone. Leave that website alone. There's no glory in that. That you can be with. Holy Ghost kept dealing with it. Dealing with it. They end up. Losing out with it. It wasn't, it wasn't. Somewhere inside. God dealt with it on some line. And then deal with it. My God. What's the answer? What happened to so-and-so? So-and-so did them wrong in the church. They left. My God. Yeah. Go that far enough. They were dealing with something. They didn't deal with it right. So then they got upset. And then they felt like this. And that thing was compartmentalized. But no, that was eight years ago. You know, stuff lasts a long time. Oh, yeah. Right, brother. It lasts a long time. Here it was eight years later before the right opportunity presented itself. Mm. It was an insight. That's why David said, search me, Lord. Yes. Search me, Lord. Yes. Yes. Is there anything an individual called some time ago? They were dealing with something, this, that, and the other. And many times they felt they were overlooked. And this, that, and the other. Yeah. Man. They don't deal with that. If they don't deal with that, eventually, eventually the right situation, the right scenario will come up. What do you mean, about Peter, right? Was much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh. Was much then as Christ has suffered in the flesh. Arm yourself likewise. Arm yourself likewise. Uh huh? In the same mind. With the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh. You know why people can't cease from sin? Saints, you'd be shocked how many people got victory over the flesh. That, see, fasting has multiple purposes. Draw an eye to God. This, that, and the other. Focusing on God. Afflicting yourself. Showing God how bad you want to draw an eye. Or you want your child to say, or, I mean, to get God's attention like minimal. You know, then we fast and gesture. Fast from this, that, and the other. But one of them, and I want to be real, 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 real earthly here. One of them is, it helps this flesh stay in shape. Because yeah. let me tell y'all, you can say, I'm, you, you can focus, I'm not fasting. Or don't even know about it. And then you get up, busy, this, that, and the other. You go, and you might as well go to noon. One o'clock, and you don't even remember it. Did you just, you just fast? You mm -hmm. by nine o'clock. That's uh, true. Not that at night in the morning. Uh, okay, uh, flesh, shut up. Be quiet. I'm not listening to you. Just grab a cookie. Just get some water. Just get some more juice. There you go. It's imperative to get a victory over the flesh. Go <laughs> okay, on pray. Flesh. I don't feel like it. He said, but he ain't never prayer. Hey, let, don't have the flesh in power. In subjection. You hardly can hardly pray. You just you tired. I don't my body. I don't feel like it. I'm going to say, I don't feel like praying. The flesh. It was a lack of discipline, a lack of drawing out of God, which resulted in a lack of power, which resulted in a, 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 a struggle with stuff that they should have just walked over. Right. So now they virtue is low all the time. Why? Because they're fighting too hard with stuff that they shouldn't be fighting that hard with. They should have victory. They should have built up a prayer life, built up a fast life, built up a spiritual immunity. Yes, that boy whistled at you, but so what? He ain't got hardly a no teeth, no job. He was spending this and here you are too. Oh, 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 oh. He wanted to be my friend in high school. Like, what has he done since then? Oh. Right, you say you uh, stuff that you should just don't. Right. Hey, okay, yeah, okay, we were brothers. We walking. I'm like, oh, oh y'all some fire, but I freaking. Oh yeah, they're doing it. Brother, did you hear what this? Brother, did you, bro, come on. <laughs> Fast like a prayer life will build up a spiritual strength and virtue that you can deal with things. So what happened? 
It was an inside job. As we close, as we close, what was Revelation 8, verse 1? It wasn't an inside job. Search me, Lord. The only way they could get Jesus was inside. The only way that the devil can make a soul backslide is from the inside. It's from the inside. The only way you get to church. Revelation 8.1 read. We don't have time. We're going to just test it. Revelation 8.1 read. When he had opened the seventh seal. How was the enemy able to penetrate God's church? And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was a silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. There was silence in heaven about the space of a half an hour. And I saw here the church going forth over the Acts 8 chapter. There was persecution all around. The church going forth. Growing. Fire is being lit. The Holy Ghost fire. This, that, and the other. But, Paul said, after my departure, Judas said, Jude said, y'all need to, it's by the end of the century, y'all need to earnestly contend for the faith that was once delivered. Y'all have what? Another generation arrives that don't appreciate the gospel as the early morning brethren did. Same thing here. He said the seventh still open. There was silence and evidence. About the space of a half an hour. Here, these brothers, the Bible fully opened up, in which they understood justification, sanctification, unity of God's people, divine healing, marriage, all these things, the truth that they once held back here, fully preaching, proclaiming it. Persecution. They were holy rollers, they this, they just think they this, they then the come outers, all this stuff. Despite that, from 1900 to 1910, 1920, the largest growing, quote, denomination, they call it a denomination, in America was not the Mormon, not the Methodist, not the Baptist. It was the Church of God. Every city you're going down through Adrian, down through Kalamazoo, down through all, they got church of God all in them. This is because these brothers labored. But why? They were putting up them, all them churches when people was persecuting them, dogging them up, come out or look at them. Oh, they're so holy. Look at them. This, that, and the other. That didn't stop them at all. None whatsoever. The priests, the prophets, all these people persecuting them. That didn't stop them whatsoever. They were going forth. But another generation arose. My God. Their children began to come. They began to expand outside the rural areas to the urban areas. The culture began to come in. All these things began to take place. They said there was a silence. I'm talking about. I hear up in the, the all the angels gotta be quiet. They said, no, 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 no. The Bible speaks about three heavens. You got the uh, the, the heaven, he said God created the heavens and the earth. Right. The natural. The Bible speaks about God is in heaven. So you got the heaven where God is. You got the heaven with the birth. You got the third, the church. There's another heaven. Uh, uh, Hebrews 12 saying sit together in heavenly places. Yes. So here he's saying there was silence. And then how did that happen? Go over to Isaiah. I'm sorry, real quick. Go over to Isaiah. Isaiah, amen. Chapter 30, verse number 9. It was an inside job. How in the world was the enemy able to get the church of God from being the fastest growing church group in America? Bodies being healed. Yes. Blinded the eyes open, my God. People taking stands. Jumping up in the meeting. I see the church. I see the church. Uh, uh, preachers taking stand out of denominationalism. Denouncing their uh, credentials, my God. Whole families coming in and getting saved. How in the world did they go from that, my God? It's just been one among all the rest. Of them. My God. With the Catholic priest right. at the church function. My God. We're going to have prayer this time at the church of graduation of our new ministers of the Catholic priests. Come on up here. Then how do you interpret Revelation chapter 13? I was standing on the sand of the sea. I saw a beast. Well, we are redefined in our interpretation of prophecy. How did this happen? Read. Read. That this is a rebellious people. This is a rebellious people. Lying children. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Isaiah, they're proclaiming. Y'all do not want to hear. Read. Would say to the seers, see not. Say to the people, don't see what I'm doing. Don't touch what I'm doing. Leave me alone. Read. And to the prophets, 
prophesy now. Don't prophesy. Don't prophesy. Don't don't declare to us. Don't tell us where we are and where we need to get right. Read. Prophesy not unto us right things. Don't prophesy just right in the full word of God. Read. Speak unto us smooth things. Tell us smooth things. Oh, glory. Oh, it's wonderful. Be oh, joy. Oh, be oh, love. Everybody love. Turn your name and say love, love, love. Oh, God, smooth things. Don't proclaim any of the judgments of God. Read. Prophesy deceits. Prophesy deceit. Come on. Get ye out of the way. Get ye out of the way. Let us do what we want to do. Read. Turn us slide out of the path. Turn aside, get out of our way. Stop and leave us alone. Every time we come to church, you're bothering us. Okay. Leave us alone. What we do in our house is our house. My God. We want to do what we want to do. You never want to tell us <clears throat> what we doing up in our house. We want to do what we want to do. It don't matter. Yes, That's your opinion. Ain't your word. Ain't your word of God. That's your opinion. Oh, right. We do what we want to do. All right. Generation rise up. <laughs> no prophecy. Trumpet. Don't blow the trumpet. He said, blow you the trumpet in Zion. Mm -hmm. Sound the alarm. If you get to have pressure from the people. Rise up the generation that didn't love the truth. Like the prior generation loved the truth. You got to be silent on things that they shouldn't have been. Call. It wasn't the Methodists that did this. What happened to that church that blinded, souls getting saved, free from sin, touching? Smoke for 20 years. Don't smoke another day. Living in fornication. Touch another time. I mean, on medication. Get saved. Threw it away, my God. They went. E. E. Byron, you write him. He had uh, uh, bottles of pills and, and crutches and, and wheelchairs. All this. He, he was just call and writing. He was just writing back. And he would say, after you get this handkerchief prayed for, somebody sent the pastor a handkerchief on Sunday and said, he, uh individual can't come here, but anoint this handkerchief and send it back. And we're going to take it and we're going to pray and put it on them. And, and, and God will bless. They would send uh, a police in a handkerchief. My son, uh, uh, I got this condition. He won't stop coughing. They would anoint the handkerchief, eat by him, and they would send it through the mail. They get the handkerchief. They apply yeah. the handkerchief yeah. to their son's throat. Oh, and to his body. This that he has moments left. <laughs> Praise God. Glory be yeah. to God. Glory yeah. be to God. How did they go from that? Pray for me tomorrow. Uh, the doctor's gonna do this uh, procedure and this that, and the other. And he's gonna he's gonna send us this right here, and I gotta take these five times a day. Can you get the glory from that? Yes. Come on, the glory of this church. Oh what happened? It wasn't outside. That's right, bro. Inside, the group became influential. It did not fully materialize until they came to the point they were able to remove F.T. Smith, Stop. compromise Stop. another person in, who had some fundamental ways, but also could get the ear of the liberals. In a minister's meeting, all through the night, reinterpreting revelation, moving what the Bible teaches, bringing in another book. Inside job. It was inside. This congregation, go down. Go to somebody way outside. Oh my God. He said, on you, rise up. Some with some old vain philosophy, smooth, influential person. He's got their own quip, got their own idea. You got to get a few others on phone call at night. Get their influence up. Get it all together. Next thing you know, what happened to that church? That day, that day, the same church? Where in that? This is the church of God? Oh my God. No, we grew up in Jackson. They wouldn't. They, what? What's the name of that movie? Transformers is up. Panther, whatever that movie is. So, church of God at that? Church of God? What? At the Green Panther? Brown, black, green, Church of God. Church of God. Oh my God. God. Serious? What happened? Oh, I know what happened. All the churches came together and talked about it so bad. That's not the only way they got to Jesus was an inside job. The only way 
that have sold, the devil can cause a soul to backslide. Right. An inside child. Right. The only way that the devil can bring in apostasy mm -hmm. is an inside child. That's true. As we close, over to Psalms 139, verse 23. Was an inside child. Lord, help us. Not to allow an inside job to take us out, to take us back, to set us aside. Psalm 139, verse 23. Search me, O God. Search me, O God. And know my heart. And know my heart. Try me. Lord, search me, God. I don't want to make excuses from stuff that I shouldn't make excuses. Search me, Lord. I don't want to search myself. You search me, God. I don't want to backslide. I don't want to turn in. I don't want to be Judas. I don't want to cause this thing to go down. I don't want a sympathetic spirit towards a prostate condition. Lord, search me, God. I don't want no bitterness, Lord. I don't want no. I don't want no affections in me, God. Search me, God. I don't want no pride. I want to be on display. Yes, my God. I said, pride coming for destruction. The Holy Spirit for far. Lord, search me. That just means that the flesh. Do I want to? I want to demonstrate. I want all the specials. I want. Lord, search me. I don't want something inside of me, God. I want to hold nobody. I want to get no effort. I don't want to be stubborn towards the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Search me, oh God. Read, brothers. Try me. Try me. And know my thoughts. Try me. In other words, go ahead and try. Let the situation come. Oh God. Try me, God. Let him call me. Try me. Let Lord, uh, let it happen. Let them overlook me. And let me see. I hope they mess up every verse oh because they didn't let me sing their part. I hope their voice crack. I hope it's not annoying. So they no, next time you better choose me. I am the soloist. <laughs> Search me. Let them sharp, let them select somebody else. And let them go up there and do a good try me, God. And, and, and don't come with no fault. <laughs> <laughs> put, put your heart in it. Support them. Yes. Be encouraging. Amen. 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 Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't be false. Right. Don't have a game to support. Yeah. Be for real with it. Because I'm going to tell you, you don't understand. You get before God. If that was the spirit you dealt with, know the some of the tendencies you have within you. You get before God. You cry out to God. You say, Lord, say normal. Lord, I don't care what she did to me. I don't care if they overlook me. Lord, give me an experience that's deep enough. Right. I don't care who got my back. Who support me. Give me an experience that's deep enough to support those that, that, I, that once opposed me. That they overlook. Lord, give me another. And you sit there, and it happens, and you're able to legit me from your heart. Yeah. Say, praise God. Thank you all the glory and God in your soul. You can support. You can suffer. Amen. But leave. Just saying that what they did right or wrong, you're not saying it's right. No, I just give it to God. Glory. Amen. It was an inside job. I made sure down on the inside of me. I dealt with everything I had to deal with. So when the prince of this world coming, he finds nothing in me. I'm not going to be a Judas. I'm not going to turn in Christ. I'm not going to backslide. I'm not going to be the cause of an apostate condition coming among the saints of God. Why? Because I searched and allowed God to search my heart and remove everything in me. I may be tempted, but it's right. external, not internal. May God bless you. Amen. 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 Appreciate God for his goodness and faithfulness. They could not get to Jesus. They concocted a plan and they said, we cannot mess up on this one. How are we going to get him? We've got to get him from the inside. How are we going to get her? she got too much inspiration. She's too encouraging. She's too excited about being saved. Always hit on her on her job. People over her. People done her wrong. How is she maintaining her? we got to get her. How are we going to get her? we got to find something that she deals with on the inside. Something that she overlooks. Something that she don't really understand. Something that she don't deal with fully. How are we going to get her? How are we gonna get him? You gotta find something on the inside. He loved, he loved to play ball when he was young. He loved to be the star of the show. Oh, he loved to be the man. The man. He got some of that spirit down in him. That still remains. Now he's in the church. But he wanna be the man. The man. I gotta shut it down. You said I shut it down. 
Alright. Yes, so we can work with And just take our time. Take our time. Take our time. Mm -hmm. Let it start operating in the flesh. There's gonna be something that happens. Something you gotta deal with inside. You're not gonna deal with it right because you got a reputation. You ain't gonna really deal with it right. You're gonna get the help you need because I, 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 I can't. I, uh, we got it. Inside job. Him? How in the world did church go down? Mm -hmm. What happened to that congregation? People all over town talk about, call them Jim Jones, oh, call them Hampton oh. Matt, call them Nick. How in the world were we able to get full apostasy on the inside? Mm -hmm. Inside job. Those among us. Every hip hop. Father, we thank you for your goodness and faith. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate you to God for every lesson in the Word of God. Lord, in the 26th chapter of Matthew, two days before the crucifixion, they fulfilled the plan they had concocted. How are we going to get Christ? Lord, they had to go with one on the inside. And as we were studying today, dear God, treason is one of the worst crimes in the world. Even worse than murder. Treason is when someone that's to be trusted turns their back and betrays a country or government. government. Sharing secrets that only they know. Judas knew right where Christ was praying. When he would be praying. When he wouldn't be able to get away. Lord, we pray you help us. Examine ourselves, Lord. Father, to make sure being used in the kingdom, we don't want nothing, no pride, no envy, no stubbornness, no attitude, no unforgiveness, yes. no uh, I'm all of that. No, and no, yes. Lord, just purge us, Lord, with the refining fire, just purge us. Lord, we want to be able to rejoice when other people go forth. We want to be able to celebrate their God. Amen. The goodness of God. His yoke is easy. It shouldn't be a struggle being saved. Father, dear God. Help your word not to return void. And we all have an experience of such. Like Jesus, the prince of this world coming. And finding nothing. <coughs> not that I'm above temptation. But there's nothing inside of me for him to work with. Have your divine life. In Jesus' name we pray. Appreciate God for goodness. Just a little bit of that. So you might go away.